And further down on the left hand side it connects to the coastline. If we continue driving along the coast here, we would reach Bosnian territory. We would drive through it for five minutes and then get again into Croatia. Why is this like that? Uh, because the territory north from here, so everything that we passed so far, uh, in the 17th century used to be a part of the Venetian, uh, Venetian Republic. So it belonged to Venice. The area south from here, where those borders are today, used to belong to an independent part of Croatia that was called the Republic of Ragusa, or the Republic of the Brody. That's the part of the country that we will be in today and tomorrow. So around Dubrovnik. And this peninsula also belonged to that Republic of Dubrovnik. So this is where the Republic of Dubrovnik and the Republic of Venice bordered. These two republics were in the same business. That was maritime trade. And they were always opponents. Venice was always bigger and stronger and wanted to take over Dubrovnik. And they had a chance to do it in after 1667 because that is the year when Dubrovnik uh, suffered from a major earthquake. An earthquake that was so strong that it killed uh, over a third of the population of the city. And they were bordering Venetians who were their biggest enemies and they were afraid that Venice will take the opportunity and attack Dubrovnik at the time. So what they did was a very clever solution. They sold a very small part of their northmost territory to the Ottomans who were in the east and that's how the Ottomans got the access to the Adriatic Sea and the people of Dubrovnik didn't have to border the Venetians anymore. Since they were in good relations with the Ottomans, this was a way to create a sort of a buffer zone. And it never caused a problem, it was a very clever solution until the 1990s when Bosnia, that was back then Ottoman, and Croatia became independent and these borders had to be re-established. So, uh, until two years ago, to travel to Dubrovnik, you had to use that road, and that is why we built this bridge to bypass that small section of the coastline that belongs to Bosnia. the bridge those ships those are the small cruise ships i was telling you about so they're not private yachts but uh, they're the next best thing this is the bridge that was built uh, 22 years ago in 2002 it was finished named after the first creation president and on the left hand side is a river called Olga where Dubrovnik gets all of its water from. And just behind that curve over there is the spring of the river, it's very short. Uh, it actually is a river that runs through Bosnia and Herzegovina and then disappears in a sinkhole and reappears here close to Dubrovnik under a different name. They thought there were actually two rivers but it was very easy to uh, identify that it's